tier chart. I want to start at the very beginning, like all the way back at the beginning of your career, like when you were in high school, start at the beginning. How many kids are in your family? There's about 10, 11. There's a 10 lot. 10 to 11? <laughs> no, there's a lot. <laughs> That's a ton. What's it like growing up in a family with that many people running around all the time? I mean, everything is competition. So, I mean, I just feel like it's all, everything's always competitive. Who can get to the food first? You know, who, uh, who's the best at video games? Who's the best at basketball? So for me, it was always just competitive and just trying to keep up with my older siblings. Because you're on the lower end of the Yeah, I'm the, the group. second, the youngest. Oh, so yeah, you've got a ton of people to compete with and really start to, I mean, you probably are good at a lot of things because of that, right? Yeah, I mean, I definitely played a couple different sports growing up. Played a little baseball, uh, definitely basketball. I actually did track and shot put and lacrosse in high school. You played lacrosse in high school? <laughs> yeah. You don't You don't strike me as a lacrosse dude. You're pretty big. I mean, I wasn't going out there trying to score goals. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't your, your job? Nah, I was out there crunching people. <laughs> So you're playing basketball, and you end up having an encounter that kind of changes the course of your life. How did you actually end up playing football? I mean, um, so I was out there playing basketball with my uh, Walter D. Palmer, and uh, the coach from West Philly saw me and asked me that I want to try out for the football team. And you know, I was just, it was just something I wanted to try at the time. And you know what? And I actually went out there. I did the summer, and I actually wound up really liking the sport. So you get to Florida International. You play there for two seasons and it seems like it's a really good fit for you. What was it about that school that everything kind of clicked for you? I mean, I, I think FIU um, definitely tested me in a lot of ways to see how bad I wanted it, and see how bad I wanted to, wanted to take it, uh, make football a career. At what point in your life did you decide that football was your career? Like, this uh -uh. is something I'm gonna <laughs> do. I mean, I think definitely, like, uh, when I first got here, I just thought, you know, because when I'm in college and, you know, going through high school, of course, everybody's goal is to make it to the NFL and want to be a part of the NFL. But um, you got to be realistic with yourself. Like, I was being realistic. I was like, it's like 1% of the world gets to play in the NFL, or well, less than 1%. And I just thought to myself, I mean, I want to be realistic. So I just hoped I had an opportunity to play in the NFL. And, you know, when I got here and, you know, after my first season, it was what it was. And my second season, I felt like I definitely took a step forward. Hey, tighten up, baby. Dub Nation! Ah! You ended up, especially here with the Tennessee Titans, you ended up with a team where you've got a head coach that says, I don't care how you got here. I don't care about your backstory. I just want to know what you can do on the field today. Is that something that's motivating to you, that it's about what you're doing right now? Yeah, for sure, because, um, like I said, you know, coming from a smaller school, you don't get as many opportunities coming from bigger schools or and being undrafted, obviously. Uh, but once you get out there, that's that's well, that's who you are. That's what you do. That's how you contribute to the team. And I knew, and I, and I you know, I felt like if I got the opportunity to show what I could do, I mean, I would have a good, a fair chance to be here. Was there a better opportunity for you to show what you can do ever in your life? than the moment right before the interception against the <laughs> Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> and nah, I think that was a really good opportunity because uh, a lot of people didn't know a big boy could move like that. So I got a little sticky for him, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was definitely cool. I know your teammates had thoughts as it pertained to your overall performance um, in that interception, maybe some form issues, <laughs> um, maybe some technical, constructive criticism. <laughs> what kind of response did you get from your teammates after that play? It was, I definitely got some jokes about doing D moves on my head. But other than that, it was, it was pretty cool, other than the high point. Since that moment, there's been a lot of football. There's still a lot of football left to go in the season as well. How do you build on something like that? I mean, you just keep working. You keep finding little things to improve on. You watch yourself on film. Um, you find out, like, you know, you just find little ways to improve through that. You know, so, I mean, that's how I feel like I could build on it. Honestly, just trying to find little ways to keep improving. What do you like about playing for this Tennessee Titans team? I mean, I, I like it all. I mean, I like everybody. Everybody on the staff, you know, everybody's such great people. It's such a great energy, great feel here. You know, um, I really enjoy the, the players too, you know. They really try to make it feel like a family environment for me.